is good, YouTube? Quinn Wade Basketball Analysis coming to you on a quick video. I wanted to let you guys know I got some new merchandise available, not just t-shirt anymore. I got different type of t-shirt, different type of shirts and logo that you can purchase on my spread shirt and also hoodies now. We have expanded and added more to the channel and more merchandise for the brand. Thanks for supporting. It will be in the description and the links will be in the comment section below. Thanks for helping me and supporting the movement. Quinn Wade, Basketball Analysis. I'm going to check out the video. What is good, YouTube? Quinn Wade, Basketball Analysis. Coming to y'all with a quick video. Uh, we're going to talk about James Harden. And, it, it, and it's not... It's hard not to talk about James Harden this year. Uh, you could say the same thing last year, but he just improved and, and really grown as a player um, this season, really mastering his best moves and simplifying his offense. And I always felt like as a basketball player, you want to minimize and simplify your game because you, you know the shots that you want. You know the shots that you can make. You know the shots that you can miss. And James Harden has been able to force the defense to guard him that way. And what I mean is James Harden knows exactly what he wants to do. And if you stop him from doing that, he already has a counter to what he wants to do next. And he's two steps ahead of the defense. And I really wanted to make this video because when I watch James Harden play and I look at the last 20 years, you talk about Kobe, you talk about LeBron, you talk about Dwayne Wade, you talk about KD, Steph, 50, 40, 90 on 30. And winning 73 games and KD winning almost 60 games without Russell Westbrook and winning his MVP with 32 points a game on 50 and, and, and 90 from the free throw line almost, almost a 50, 40, 90. Um, you look at Allen Iverson, you look at Steve Nash, and you look at what James Harden is doing. Um, the last person to average 35 was Kobe. The last person to average a little bit over that was Michael uh, before Will Nelgen. And, you know, for him to continue to his 30 point streak, he's closing in on Will, who had 25 straight games of 30 plus then he had 31 so um James Harden hasn't broke or caught those records yet but he, he's coming close and it's possible that he will do it because Chris Paul and them is out for so much he's going to eventually have to either shoot his way so bad that he's not going to be able to make enough shots to get 30 but with the amount of shot attempts and the amount of the ball being in his hands it's going to be hard for him not to get 30 at this point because even if his shots isn't falling, you still have to guard him and you still have to respect him even if his shots ain't falling. And that makes it even more difficult to guard the guy um, because he can still get to the free throw line because last night he shot 25 free throws. He shoot 25 free throws. I mean, he, sh he made 25 free throws. And if you do that, that's almost 30 alone. And that's one thing that he has been able to be amazing at is creating contact and drawing contact so even if his shot isn't falling from three which it doesn't sometimes he can still get to the free throw line and eat um and that's going to be one of the most difficult things to do is trying to find a way to get james harden to the points where you can get the d i feel like philly and milwaukee did a good job of figuring out how to guard him and that's any team every team have different type of players every team have different type of um schemes um so you you have your personnel, so certain teams can only guard James Harden so much, or they don't have a person that's really going to make it difficult for him. And as long as James Harden continue to win, it's, like I said a couple months ago, it's going to be hard to deny that James Harden is MVP just because he's been dominating so much. But the fact that his team is still winning, like the Knicks game, they was down at halftime. He had over 30 before it was even the third quarter. But they was losing, and they was able to barely squeak out that W against the Knicks. Um, and James Harden was uh, one of the main reasons why they was able to win that game. But I think the more this team is injured, the more you're going to see James Harden have these type of performances. But the thing that was funny about this year, he's been doing it so much this season that it is becoming common. I've seen somebody say that this is what we expect from James Harden to do because he's been doing it for so long we do take it a little bit for granted and that's why i made this video because we haven't seen nothing like this in our generation outside of kobe t mac iverson kd and steph lebron and Dwayne way we haven't really seen nobody go as far as james harden going this year getting 36 a game at this point and i think it's only going to go up as they still are injury riddled um but i i think the main thing is is this the best season that we have had in the last 20 years? And, and that's including Shaq. That's including Kobe. Um, 
I know that he's not the defender that Kobe was. Um, he's not as efficient as Stephen Durant when it comes to field goal and threes and free throw. But when it comes to being aggressive and getting to the free throw line, we haven't seen the guy do it like Harden has been able to do it. He's balancing. And, and I remember early in his career, like I said before, the thing about James Harden is the the funniest thing that people say he was just nothing but a free throw machine. If it wasn't for the free throw, James Harden wouldn't be a great player. People was legitimately saying that about him, you know, in the 14-15 season. That he shoots so many free throws that if he didn't shoot free throws, he wouldn't be that good. Now he's showing you that he can score even more than ever. And he don't even need the free throws at this point because now he has a go-to move. Now he's getting to the paint and finishing amazingly. Now he's getting his step back jumper. He used to do a step back jumper. Now he's doing step back threes. And the guy is phenomenal. Like, it's crazy, you know, seeing on your Bleacher Report or your app or on your computer that the Rockets are playing and you just suspect James Harden to get 30 plus automatically. Like, oh, they playing the Sixers or oh, they playing um, the Knicks. We already know James Harden playing the A and you just want to know what he's going to do. That's how fun it has been watching James Harden this year. As soon as I see that they play today, I, I'm already guessing how many points he's going for because I expect him to do that. And I feel like that's the part that we sleep on from this season is that we haven't had nobody do this in so long. Uh, and, and, and that's the part that's funny is that you know, we're not looking at it that way. Um, but is he better than that Kobe season? I think he's so, old because the team is winning more games. It's not like James Harden is just putting up empty numbers and just filling up the stat sheet and doing whatever he wants to do. It's kind of true, but they're still figuring out a way to win games. Remember, just two months ago, they was out of the playoffs fighting just to make a run to get back in. They, like, this is a team that won 65 games. Um, and this is when Chris Paul was healthy and they barely was going to make the playoffs at that point. He, they would have to, they had to go on, on a win streak just to get back in the playoffs. And they have been able to stay in there ever since this team has not missed the playoffs since they traded for James Harden, since they traded for James Harden, they've been in the playoffs each and every year. No matter how hard the West have gotten like this year, no matter how deep the West has gotten, James Harden has been able to figure out how to help this team make the playoffs each and every year. As soon as they traded all that, all those assets for him, they've been in the playoffs since. That shows you how much of a generational talent he is. That shows you how special he is. That they, they literally traded for a guy and took a gamble on him. And they have been successful. They even went to two Western Conference Finals with James Harden um, as their best player. So at the end of the day, I have to give them credit. You know, I know James Harden. And it is kind of fun, you know, like I said, checking and seeing who they play and just guessing how many he's going to go for. And then you can't wait to see what it is at the end of the game because he has become a show. This is the James Harden show this year. Um, and, and I feel like the winning has helped him catapult himself into the MVP conversation. And, and if he can win back-to-back -back MVPs, we haven't seen that in a while either since LeBron. So it shows you how rare the things that he's doing is. And 36 a game is ridiculous. The scariest part about it is that the season is still nowhere close to being over. We still got over 20 games to go. So this, this can go up to passing Michael. Uh, remember, Will averaged 37, Michael averaged 37, James Harden, the way he's going, he's going over 37 to 50 points, over 40 points. He can continue to go up to 37, 38 points a game and tie Elgin Baylor. Um, and it's realistic because Chris Paul and Clint is still out. So they still need somebody to replace that type of talent offensively. And it's going to have to be James Harden. If he wants to win, this is what he's going to have to do. And when I played basketball, I said the same thing. Once you lace up them sneakers, um, at the end of the day, this is who you got on your team. This is who you're going to have to ride for. This is who you're going to have to trust and believe in because it ain't going to change. Once that game start, y'all locked into this is who I got to play with. And he's going out there knowing how terrible and how, how beat up this team is. And he's just going out there and giving them a chance to win basketball games. And he has been able to help them do that. I know Eric Gordon has hit big shots you know, to tie games and to win games. And it's not all James Harden. It may look like it, but he still have to pass the ball. 
he still need his teammates to do their part defensively because he can't guard everybody. And we all know James Harden is not a great defender anyway. But they're doing their part. They're trying to help him throughout the game. And James Harden is being a leader. He's going out there giving his his all. He's going out there trying to help his teammates get easier shots. And he's taking a lot of attention off of them. A lot of these guys wouldn't be the players that they are without James Harden because he makes their job so easy because of the attention that he draws. And at the end of the day, I'm enjoying it. I'm loving it. But I just wanted to know. I don't really know. But I wanted to know what you guys think. Do you think this is one of the best seasons or the best season in the last 20 years? I think it's up there. And like I said, the scariest part about it is he can continue to get better um, as this season continues to go. They're going to need him to continually do this if they want to win games. And if he does, his numbers is only going to continue to increase. And we really don't know where it's going to be at game 82 because he's not going to be able to rest the way they going he's going to have to play all well he's not going to play all 82 because he missed games already but he's going to have to play the rest of this game the rest of these this season and the scary part is he's doing so much will he pull the hamstring will he get a significant injury because he's getting beat up he's getting toe up they 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 going under him when he's shooting threes they're forcing him they're being real physical with him they're trying to knock him around when he goes to the paint can his body hold up? Can he take the, the, the hits? Can he take, the, you know, the grabs and the pulling of his arm and the hitting them full power with somebody that's 250 to 280 pounds? Can he continue to take that wear and tear? And it's a good question because, you know, he has shown this year that he, he is human. It don't seem like it. It sounds crazy, but James, James Harden is a human being. Um, but I think the biggest criticism is just his efficiency, five turnovers a game. 44% from the field. Um, you will think that he'll shoot a lot better from the free throw line. I think it's just nitpicking and a little bit childish, but I feel like for him to average 36 points and still get eight assists and still help with six rebounds a game with the type of offensive load that he has carried um, with his ability to still be able to help them win games and help them close games, um, I feel like you know it outweighs the, the flaws of this season. But I, I really want to know what you guys think. Is this the best season that we have seen in the last 20 years since Shaq and Kobe, since Iverson, since T-Max, since KD, LeBron, Dwayne Wade? Is this one of the best years? Is it the best year? Let me know in the comment section below. Quinn Wade, basketball analysis. I'm going to check out my website, analysisplayer.com. Link will be in the description, comment section below. Check out my Facebook page, analysisplayer.com. Link will be in the description, the comment section below. Also, check out my spread shirt. Also, I made videos just like this with discussions. I made trade videos when somebody get traded. I do buyout videos when somebody get bought out joining a team. I do free agency. I cover the draft. I NBA breakdown games, tape games of people, break them down and show you how they play, show them how they good, show you their weaknesses. I also do that, and I also cover previews of the season. So I do everything. I try to go 365 and make content for you guys every day. I try not to miss a day. I watch every game. If you enjoyed this video, thank you because I enjoy making these videos. That's why I continue to go because you guys continue to watch. You guys continue to like. You guys continue to support. Um, and at the end of the day, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below.